Hi there, and welcome to another video tutorial on the Bite Size channel. This video will continue from the previous one, so please load that example patch if you want to follow this. So in the previous um, video tutorial, we made this with the repeat up. Right now, I want to show you a very simple other thing that we can do. So we're going to get rid of the multiply here, and we're going to disconnect the X position. We're now going to plug this sign into position X, and this sign into position Y. We're going to move everything back to the center, and we're just going to make it a little bit bigger with the scale. Now, with the sign, I'm going to put it on phase zero, frequency one, amplitude two. With this one, phase zero, frequency one, amplitude one. And now we get this line here, sorry, two. Um, now, by just playing around with the phase, I actually go to like half of P, which is 1.57, we get this really cool thing here with a circle. So I'm gonna make the sphere a little bit smaller so it's easier to see, and I'm gonna increase the scale. Now, the nice part here is we can start to do some really cool stuff. So let's move it back to the middle. So if I go here to multiply, for example, and slowly move it down, as you can see, we can start to make a circle grow or shorten. So let's just say I'm gonna put it on this for now. We can start to do some really cool stuff here by playing around with the frequency that was very sensitive. So if I now put the frequency on a different number, as you can see, I start to get these really cool different displacement patterns. As some people will know them, it's called the Lissajou. So if I'm gonna put this on 100 now, we start to make some really, really cool funky shapes. And as you can see, we've got a clear beginning and end. So let's put this frequency on 1.05. Let's put this one on 1.08. And as you can see, we start to get some really cool complex patterns. So this could also be animated with the sun anim up. So I'll just plug it quickly into main loop. I'll give it a amplitude of 0.2 and a frequency of 0 0.5. And now I'm gonna plug this into the frequency. And this is going really fast, but as you can see, I can start to make some really cool stuff, slow it down a lot. So this was just a basic explanation again with some cool stuff that we can do with the repeat op. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any comments or any requests, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below on the channel. Okay, thank you.